You wouldn't look at me and guess I slept in my car last night. That for the last month and a half, I drive to the upper lot of the Best Buy parking garage after closing time and blast my heater till it's warm enough to fall asleep. If you notice my dark circles, you might assume I party too hard on a school night or put an all-nighter to study, but really, it's because I woke up every hour from the cold. I turn on the ignition and blast hot air in my face, hoping to fall asleep again before the heat seeps through the crevices of my car seats. You won't catch me digging for leftovers or recyclable bottles and garbage cans, nor recosting you with a change cup outside of Starbucks. My body will be showered and my hair combed in the locker rooms of the 24-hour fitness. I will find a place to stay, but then leave, because I am robbed there of the last bit I have left. I will move on with reduced faith in humanity and non-existent trust in people. I will go back to my car, reclining my seat to face the stars through the moonroof of my 93 Toyota Camry and find comfort in listening to Tupac on repeat. I will go to school and participate in class, but never make friends, never hang out after school. I will never ask for favors because I might not be ready to pay them back. I will not awaken to alarm clock, but rather to the sunlight on my eyelids or sprinklers on my windshield as I so vividly remember the morning after my high school graduation. Remembering that I didn't look as beautiful in my satin pink halter-topped graduation dress the morning after. It had been wrinkled in my sleep. My curls turned straight again and my eyeshadow creased. I peeled the dress from my body and replaced it with sweatpants and a tank top. You wouldn't know though. You wouldn't look at me and think this is how I slept last night because I will do everything possible to prevent you from guessing.